Let's keep it simple. Simple inbounds play, okay? We call this Princeton. It's a really good play versus uh, man. We'll show you how to utilize it versus zone. You don't need a lot. If you want an inbound series, uh, Bob McKillop of Davidson has a great championship videos tape on inbounds plays. But if you need one set to get by, this one I think you'll like. First of all, we got four and five on the elbows. We got a good shooter, our two man right here, ready to come off the double. We also have a really good shooter in the opposite corner. All right, now, what we want to do, give me another guard out here on defense. Another guard on defense. Um, guard, Bryce, guard the corner. Okay, Bryce is going to try to come off the double screen looking for a shot, okay? And he might even be able to curl. Bryce, if he chases you, just curl it to the basket. I mean, I, I don't think they'll play it that way, but you gotta take advantage of that. So let's reset that, okay? What you, what you might do defending him is, I probably would go underneath right now, because if you chase him, he's probably gonna get, get, get a layup. So you, Bryce, you, your job is just to pop out now. If you see, Bryce, that we've been running this play a couple times and he starts to cheat out and you start to come, back cut to the basket. One step, back cut, layup. Okay? In a game, you're probably not going to guard him that way. You're probably going to be in here somewhere. Okay? Here's how I would play this, right here. Okay? So what I want you to do, Bryce, is you come off. If he chases you, you could pop out or curl it. If he goes under, make sure that he's going with you. But if he cheats early, back cut to the basket. We get a layup right here, OK? Now, we may not get a layup because you're alert. So go ahead and cheat out a little bit. Back cut, take this away. He's open in the corner. Three, bang, shot. All right, so we got a little game here that's pretty good. It's pretty good right here. We like this. We like this, OK? So that's our game. Our game is to take advantage of him. So now, here's what we've got. If he doesn't have anything, and he just chases you out to the wing, when you catch it, I want to see if you guys can go to the Euro continuity pick and roll, which means Bryce would have the ball, Michael. We need one screener. We need a four man over there. We need one and three on this side. So let's see now. Let's say we don't get the back cut or the cheap three in a corner. Let's come right off it and go to Euro pick and roll. Go ahead. Good. Roll. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Good. All right. They were running on the other side. That's really good. Really good stuff. Remember what we ran earlier in Euro pick and roll. Really good. Now, that's a simple man-to-man -man play that gives us a lot of different options, okay? We got a back cut. We got a three in the corner, all right? We may have this. Um, Mike, if I'm guarding you and they smell that Bryce can shoot it and he cheats out on that, okay? Come off, Bryce. He cheats out on that, slip it to the basket, all right? That's just smart basketball, okay? So there's a lot we can do on that particular set. If you just want to get it in, coaches, and get it into your offense, great. But I'm showing you, even on a simple inbounds play, you can create flow by running right into uh, uh, Euro pick and roll, OK? And we can get into motion this way, other different ways. Let's get a zone up here. Let's get a 2-3 zone up. Underneath, out of bounds, same set. Same set. OK, we need another guard up top. Now. Most 2-3 zones, turn around, the ball's on the baseline. Okay, most 2-3 zones would be like uh, this guy's here. Okay, go on here. Cheat over a little bit. Okay, come into the middle. Cover that backside. All right. Most 2-3 zones have three guys on the baseline. Some really good ones play with four on the baseline. But most play with three. So here's what we've got right now. 